morning once again. We are focusing this morning on immigration. The Obama administration announced that it will stop deporting young illegal immigrants who were brought to the United States as children, but only if they meet certain requirements, like living in the U.S. for at least five years and not having any felonies on their record. This move is expected to directly affect around a million people. Our good friends, Republican analyst Lenny McAllister and Democratic strategist Maria Cardona, back with us this morning. Nice to see you both. <laughs> Great to be back, Randy. Thank you. So let's talk about this. Uh, the pundits and politicians, they're jumping all over this announcement. Uh, U.S. Representative Alan West being one of them, he said this. Uh, this is yet another example of executive branch overreach. It is apparent that the goal of the Obama administration is not to govern, but rule by edict. And this from Senator Dick Durbin. The decision to extend temporary legal status to DREAM Act students is an historic humanitarian moment. This action will give these young immigrants their chance to come out of the shadows and be part of the only country they've ever called home. So Lenny, I'm going to start with you on this one. What do you make of this decision, this policy shift? Well, it, it's unfortunate because we all know that there needs to be immigration reform. We, we understand that, and I think everybody agrees with that. But once again, one of the major overreaching examples of President Obama's quote-unquote leadership is something that's come by way of executive edict and again it, it seems as though this is a season of giving you've seen him evolve on gay marriage you've seen him ev evolve after being a president that's deported at high numbers now to having this come out yesterday i'm waiting for an evolution where he's telling floridians that they're going to get free passes to walt disney world and ohioans that they're going to get free passes to geauga lake and pennsylvanians that they're going to get free season tickets to steeler games in order to please more blocks of voters that he needs to win in November. This is nothing more, unfortunately, than a political move. This is not something that's leadership. Leadership would have been what Senator Obama said he would do in 2008, bring people together and get comprehensive reform through Congress versus skipping the constitutional process and doing it this way, hoping to get yet another key voting block on his side for November. All right, Maria, you take it now. Well, Lenny has gotten the, the Republican talking points, so let's be uh, real here for a second. The, let's go ahead and hear the Democratic talking points now. It, it, is not, it is absolutely not an edict. It is a temporary move that will give relief to about 800,000 immigrant students who have been here for many years, who have contributed positively to our country, who know no other country of origin and perhaps don't even speak the language. It, it does follow the, the position of the DREAM Act, and frankly, the DREAM Act, Randy, has been a piece of legislation that has been supported historically by Republicans until lately when the Republican Party has had to lurch to the right to make sure that they give the conservative ultra-right wing the power that they now have. And it is something, the DREAM Act itself is something that the majority of the American people have supported for many, many years. So to talk about this as an overreach and, and an edict and, and ignoring the Constitution is just not true. The, the president himself said that this is temporary. It, he does have the power. It's through prosecutorial discretion. So let's do what Lenny said. If, if Republicans really want a bipartisan solution to this, where were they in the last three years when the president was asking to, to work with Republicans to come up with real comprehensive uh, immigration reform when you have McCain, who had his own name on the legislation, basically turn his back on this. So, so it's never the wrong time to do the right thing. So let's talk about the timing, though, because, Lenny, in, in 2008, uh, about 10 million Latinos voted. The 2012 figure could be higher, in fact. So, I mean, is this just a play uh, for Obama to to win the Latino vote again, do you think? And will it work? It will probably work because Mitt Romney still needs to bone up on illegal immigration and his stance on that and, and strengthen that. It will work as of now, but yes, of course it's a political play. If this was the right thing to do, why didn't we do this when there was a super majority in the Senate, when there were huge majorities for the Democrats in 2009 and 2010? Because they were distracted with pushing through another piece of legislation that the American people by a majority did not want, but Democrats were determined to do by way of an executive order that was given at the very last minute to please blue dog Democrats, including <laughs> former Congressman Bart Stupak. Let's not forget about this. That's the unfortunate thing about this. If, is it the right thing to do as far as getting comprehensive reform? Yes. Is it the right thing to do by going around constitutional and congressional means of doing it? 
absolutely not. This is a sign of desperation from this president that he needs to do everything he possibly can in order to squeak out a victory in November, and I don't think it's going to work. Maria, let me ask you about the timing, because uh, we have SB 1070, the, the uh, controversial anti-immigration law in Arizona. We're going to get a ruling on that in the coming days uh, from the Supreme right. Court. Then we right. have a, a, a super PAC that supports Mitt Romney uh, planning this, this massive um, uh, media campaign against the president, mm -hmm. painting him as right. anti-immigration. So again, right. to you, the same question. <laughs> How much of this is about politics? Well, look, certainly everything that the president does this year is going to be looked upon through the prism of, of politics, whether it, it, it is or not. But again, I go back to it's never the wrong time to do the right thing. And this is something, frankly, that the administration has been working towards for three years. This is not just something that a Secretary Napolitano woke up yesterday and say, oh, let's change immigration policy. No, th they have been hearing from dreamers for three years. They have been hearing from immigration advocates for a long time now because the advocates understand that this president has tried to work with Republicans in a bipartisan manner to find the permanent solu solution, which by the way, we still need to do. This is not a permanent solution. It is not an edict. And they understand that Republicans have time and again turned their back. Again, I go back to there are 11 Republican senators today in the Senate, Randy, that just a few short years ago, before Obama came into office, supported comprehensive immigration reform. What's changed? Nothing. What has changed is that Mitch McConnell now has as his number one goal to make sure this president is a one-term president. They are not interested in really solving the problems that are facing this country. So this president is trying to do things that are right for the American people, that are right for our economy, and that is the right thing to do for these 800,000 students who are American in every way possible except for a little piece of paper. Maria Cardona, it wasn't Lenny the right thing to do. It wasn't the right thing to do in 2009, 2010, Maria. Let's not forget about it's it the right thing to do the in an election right. year. I think you do you guys in an election well. year. And Republicans didn't want to do it then. They don't want to do it now. They're in trouble. They didn't need Latinos, Republicans period. in 2009. <laughs> Call each other, yeah, email each other. You can continue that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Lenny you, McAllister, Randy. Maria Cardona, thank you both very Thanks, much. Thanks, nice Randy. Thanks, Maria. God bless you all.